Hey guys, I just wanted to throw together this little montage of some successful and somewhat fast cat apple kills. Unlike all the other bosses in this game, the cat apple moves randomly at the start. For all the other bosses, you can just watch a world record or other high placing run to see a good setup for their fights, but for this one you need to do a little more homework. I'm starting with the top left pattern, i.e. when Apple Cat moves to the top left initially. This is the same pattern that Undurable got in the current any% percent record, and in my opinion has been the easiest to handle. You grow a bomb immediately, grow another bomb immediately, then grow and place a watermelon in the left hole and kick a bomb to the right. You may be saying, hey, that was only three hits, how do we do the fourth? Unfortunately, I can't give magic perfect advice past three hits, because Apple Cat will almost certainly start a second spin phase before you get the fourth bomb in, and there are just too many variables at this point to concisely describe a setup for the last hit. In addition to the second spin also starting in a random direction, the way Worms spawn is random and Apple Cat's precise position after the third hit depends on factors leading up to it, so the best I can give you is the first three hits, and then I recommend practicing your improv skills to get the last hit in. That said, if you are precise with your first hits, you do a water trip to grow the melon block, and you get a kinda lucky worm spawn, you can get the kill before the second spin phase starts. I've only managed this a couple of times, but I'm sure with more practice I could do it more reliably. The top left spin pattern is the only one where I've been able to get this quick kill, but I'm still somewhat new to this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if you can do it with other patterns. I also wanted to include this clip where I messed up, didn't fully plant the second bomb, and instead of two booms and a kick, did one boom and then two kicks. And it still worked out okay. The nice thing about this pattern is that because the first two hits usually happen so quickly, you end up with a lot of downtime before the second spin to recover from mistakes like this. Next I'm going to talk about the top right pattern. This one is a little bit harder. If you try to flower the bomb immediately, it will actually explode before Cat Apple is in range to take the hit. So instead, you need to delay watering the bomb by just a little bit. After this is very similar to the top left pattern. Plant the melon in the left hole, kick two bombs, stab any worms that come your way, and just try to land the last hit during the second spin phase. You can usually do this by double watering the left bomb, but if you do this fight a lot, you'll develop good judgment here. The down left pattern is pretty similar to the top left pattern. Water the bomb, then grow the melon, and place it in the top hole instead of the left hole. Kick two bombs down, deal with worms as they appear. You do need to be careful with health here. The first bomb you kick down will hurt you, and then as always just use your best judgment for the last hit, but watering the bomb will probably work out. I also wanted to include this clip where I messed up placing the block. I tried moving it down too soon, and it got destroyed by the first bomb. But that said, the fight worked out anyway. All I'm saying is don't give up if you mess up a little bit. Then there's a couple more clips I wanted to show where I was trying something different with the down left pattern, trying to go to the bottom bomb and melon. I never really got anything super consistent here, but it also wasn't awful, so I don't know. Maybe there's something to this. I think it could be worth looking into this in the future, especially as an alternative if you come into this fight low on health for some reason and can't take the damage from the other approach I showed. And finally, the down right pattern. This one was definitely the hardest for me to work out, but now that I understand it, it's really not that tough. You'll notice that I plant a melon without moving it. That's just so Cat Apple reflects off of it and stops spinning in a better position. The problem with this pattern is that if you don't do this, the first spin stops in a horrible place. Cat Apple ends up outside the center of the room and you can't hit it with bombs at all. But if you plant this melon first, then it ends up in the perfect place to deal some serious damage. We're actually very lucky that Cat Apple always bounces the same way once it starts spinning. As long as you don't touch it and you plant the same things every time, Cat Apple always moves exactly the same way. So planting the melon like this will always put the cat in exactly the same position. Right? What? Uh, what?